Hey guys, it's Aaron back with another fresh review for you. And so today I'm going to be talking about the uh, 2019 Mortal Kombat film. And, well, Mortal Kombat! <laughs> I love that, sorry. I That's the one thing they always seem to get right in these types of films. However, while there are things that I really did appreciate and respect about this film, especially in a video game comparison and also um, as a reboot of a franchise that was atrocious back in the day. I mean, for God's sakes, the first two films were rated PG-13 in a Mortal Kombat film. <gasps> so yeah, I did like that. It's rated R. So that was the first smart thing to do. Um which I'm glad they did, obviously. They were able to showcase some blood and gore and things that, whether you like it or not, that's what Mortal Kombat was, man. It was a fighting game, and there were blood and guts, and we loved every second of it. Later on, there started to get a little bit more story, and yes, we know, but for the most part, especially the first three games or so, it was blood, guts, fighting, mm, 90s. Anyway, it's just, okay, so, so the film... This one I did like. It took a little bit more serious. Um, so, but the one the one thing there there was still a lot of flaws in it, as you would think. The uh, one of the first things that popped out at me was you know in the very beginning, Jax is just fighting these guys, and it, he's punching these metal things, and I'm like, does Jax have metal arms yet? No. Okay, then it should hurt when you punch things like that. I don't care how strong you are. You punch into metal, it's gonna freaking hurt. And so I. Okay, so so Melina, she looked badass. That was really cool. I did like her. Um, she wasn't in it a whole lot, but she looked really cool. Uh, it was a really good design that they did for that. For the most part, actually, all the designs were relatively good. Um, sometimes when, like, in this and, 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 and in uh, uh, the original ones, the one thing I will say that kind of made me think of those is like uh, Shao Kahn, for instance, is he's just looked like an Asian man, which it's fine because, I mean, he's not, you know, that is kind of pretty much what he looks like in the games, but it is hard to differentiate a little when, like, before you, unless you're introduced to him, you know, it's like, oh, it's a Shao Kahn. It's because, like, he doesn't just start off by doing his magic like the character does. So it's like a little, well, okay, is this Shao Kahn? But, you know, he's fine enough. And the guy that did it in this, he was fine too. He did a good acting job. Um, oh, okay. So why in God's name is it in every Mortal Kombat we think that it's necessary to make Kano annoying? He's so, okay, like, in this one, he's annoying. In the original, he's annoying. I don't remember him, I'm not that well versed with all the Mortal Kombat games, but he's, I don't remember, you know, he's in the first one, I know, but he doesn't speak, obviously, but I don't remember them, like, giving him some kind of, like, oh, he's just this annoying Australian guy. Dude, he's freaking annoying, you know? That's what I hate about it. God, and he just doesn't shut up, ever. Not once did he shut up in this film. Not once did he shut up in the first one. Ugh. And, you know, the other thing, so that was that was it, too. And one thing that they, they massively messed up, and it really freaking made me mad, is um, when uh, Kung Lao dies. Spoiler, yeah. Anyway, um, when Kung Lao dies, he goes, fatality for Kung Lao. It's like, no, you just say fatality. That's how the Mortal Kombat game is. You just say fatality. Ugh. So, the Jax is armed. When when Jax first shows up on the scene, he's got like arm. When he gets you know re whatever robotic dies or whatever, he has arms you know like kind of skinny like mine, whatever. And they're just and they're metallic. And I'm like, that's not what they're supposed to look like. They're supposed to revamp him with these like big freaking hulking arms. You know, at least similar to what you had. The first design that they do, it looks so stupid. They do eventually give him the what we see in the video games, but it's not worth it because it's like the last like half hour of the film and you're like okay we've already seen you walking around these little like twig stump stupid things i don't know but they're you know i don't know it's just it's very hard to say that this is a good film it in comparison to the originals yes but as far as just a standalone action film it's not that bad but it's also not that good granted i didn't have like high hopes um for the uh for the film in general because it just didn't look the greatest but i mean it's fine 
um, when there was a little bit of blood and guts, there wasn't much at all, but there was some, so you got to give it that credit too. It was rated R and they used that to its full potential. But w- when there was, um, it did kind of remind me of the game and that was nice. Um, so yeah, they did their homework. They did their due diligence. You know, they actually cared about their fan base instead of the, instead of the freaking previous ones, you know, that we see Zoro or Nor- Goro getting kicked in the nuts and you're like, Oh God. Anyway, Like I said, I just caught it now. I just wanted to, uh, you know, talk about it and let you guys know what I think. It's, um, I recommend it. If you're, if you're a fan of the game, I recommend it. If you're a fan of cool action films, I recommend it. Um, and if you're a fan of somebody who wants to see something better than the original installments back in the nineties, I definitely recommend it then. Cause for us kids, I had to follow that crap. (laughs) I don't know. Well, I guess that's all I can say about it, isn't it? But yeah, I guess all I can say, at least, and it's, it's rated R, so at least I can say that. But anyway, uh, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll be back with some more videos. Take it easy.